Hi everybody, I'm Russ with ESBService.com and today I'm going to show you how to go from a four wire timer and convert it to a three wire timer on your ESB tanning bed. Now this process is the same for uh, 120 volt or 240 volt models. And for this video and uh, for the demonstration purposes we've got the uh, cover already removed and I just have a little um, cutout section of the cover to show you um, the, where the timer is. You're looking at it from the rear of the bed here where the power cord comes in. And when you go to access the timer, you'll notice that there are usually on the models what you would see is one white wire and three black wires connected to your main digital timer. So, in order for you to wire up the new timer, as shown here, what we're going to do is, with the bed unplugged, we're going to disconnect first these uh, top wires here. This white one is on J2, and this black one is on J1. And I'm going to connect those onto the same terminals on the new timer, J1 and J2. The black wire goes on to J1 and the white one goes on J2 just like this okay and then now you have two black wires still connected to the main timer here so they're on here they're on uh, J3 and um, J6 I'm going to disconnect these two and I'm going to follow these back here to the contactor where they connect. You'll see actually one comes here to the backup timer, it connects to the A1 or 1 terminal, and the other wire connects here at the primary of the contactor on the hot side where the uh, main power cord comes in. So what we're going to do actually is we're going to remove this wire entirely and this is no longer needed so you can discard that wire and we're going to take the wire that goes to the backup timer and we're going to connect that to the J6 terminal. If for some reason your model doesn't have a backup timer the black wire would connect to the side here on the contactor um, at this empty terminal right here. So in order to, now the timer is wired, so in order to um, get it going back on the cover again properly, what we'll do is um, with a Phillips screwdriver, we're just going to loosen the screw. The screw is holding the old timer in. Pull the screws out. And then you also need to disconnect the ribbon cable from the 5-pin header. When you pull the timer away, the bezel comes away too, so you have to hold the bezel on the outside of the cover. Set that aside, and then what we'll do is uh, we'll get the new timer in place with the holes for the overlay and the bezel lined up. We simply Take it like this. You would be under, underneath the cover or um, more conveniently if the cover was actually um, on the floor facing up then you can use gravity in your favor. Now just tighten these a little bit. Just snug is enough. You don't need to over tighten those. You are screwing into um, plastic so it would be easy to strip out if you overdid it. lined up. And just tighten that down. And then it would be complete. After, of course, connecting the five pin ribbon cable so it goes over the five pins as such. Then you would simply uh, reinstall the cover 
and and then it would be done.